hello guys uh, my name is mukesh and uh, i am here uh, taking your session for caessp uh, this is the domain 3 security engineering cryptography and symmetric uh, key algorithms uh, so first of all we will be talking about data types of data data at rest and the another one is data in motion so data at rest mean data residing at a permanent location saved in the hard drive so here theft of physical device is the biggest disadvantages of data at rest so somebody stole the hard drive or the server so it will be the biggest disadvantage uh, but other side data in the motion data is motion is the data being transferred across the network between two systems uh, two or multiple system or communicating to each other so the data is always in the network or the wires for example wireless network or a public internet is also the data in motion but the disadvantage is eavesdropping attack is a disadvantage of data in production so eavesdroppings and other like uh, it's easy these days to uh, hack or crack a wireless with the poor uh, authentication or a poor password so let's talk more about it the next is codes versus ciphers codes are not actually for uh, providing the confidentiality or and code does not work and word and phrase okay code does not work on words and phrase if you are using words and phrase your code will not help there okay but the ciphers are the one who meant to hide the meaning or a message we will talk more depth about ciphers uh, and codes you are very well aware for keeping a password or setting up some codes cipher works on individual character and bits so cipher how cipher can work let's talk more but before cipher we have to uh, understand the cryptography cryptographic is nothing much but it's an art of writing or solving the code so writing a code and solving it or uh, reversing it cryptography provide security to data during processing storage and communications so one com person is communicating with another one so it is in the processing or in the transferring so your data will be secure when it is going from one machine to another so it is the study and practice of hiding information okay so how to hide the uh, information you know like uh, your friend is sending a image to you picture okay it's an image jpj image so you open it through a some particular software you will find there is a message hidden in the image he used the same software and uh, he used that image to show but inside that file or inside that photo he has written some code okay so only you are using the same software you can decode it as you can see goals of cryptography confidentiality integrity authentication non repudiation now look at the slide here there are two different pictures okay but if you cover one with the another you will find that there is a letter a here this is the letter a so that is that is actually here this is a letter a so cryptography is used for that purpose so in any how you get the image you will not be able to find what is the purpose of this until you know how to decode it so making cryptography we use it for uh, confidential data we are sharing so somebody catch it he can't read it integrity uh, so we should not make some changes authentication and run repudiation so what is encryption first of all traditional encryption is uh, trans uh, position caesar cipher we use that systems uh, caesar cipher technique and modern encryption we use these days is otp uh, one time pad uh, especially for the banking sectors when we are making some online transfer we used to enable otp uh, one name cipher rsa aes and uh, blowfish two fish that means symmetric and asymmetric and hashing encryption so uh, this is the modern encryptions what we do is old we will talk about this one also caesar in uh, cipher encryption but these days like i am writing abc here okay it is going to encrypt it and this is the encryption for abc and it is going to be decrypted for the receiver so 
here <coughs> these are some uh, boolean mathematics and sometimes if you guys have learned some digital electronics or uh, uh, some boolean mathematics these are the and gate or nor and and or one way function zero knowledge split knowledge and work function so nothing much switches p and q that will be p by q t and t is t only t and f will be f f and t will be again f and uh, this one f and f will be f so it is not necessary right now but you can go and browse internet for more uh, depth and detail for the boolean mathematics uh, caesar caesar cipher you know here let's the back slide we were talking about this one traditional encryption methods modern these are the modern encryption method we use okay but what we used to in the traditional encryption method let's talk about it uh, here caesar cipher is used by julius caesar to communicate with c0 in rome from europe extremely simple method to encrypt a ma message each shift each letter of alphabet three places to the right also known as rot3 rot3 okay so what happen is here like uh, three uh, here somebody is is writing d so d will be switched to the three to the back so before here one two three third will be a d will become a e will be becoming b and f will will be shifting again three so e and d so and c so it will be becoming a b c it is uh, easy actually to make it like uh, example a would become d b would become e let's understand here i am writing here a b c so a will will be becoming d because three rot three so three will be a b c and the next one is d so it will become d b will become b will be becoming c d and e third one and f will become c d e f c so that will become a b c will become d e f sorry d e f so it is very easy if you want to spend time uh, go for this exercise plain text is the cissp is very sleepy or simple and that's true uh, cipher text will be t will be become w h will become k e will become h c will become f so you know it's a, a level of plus 3 keep adding plus 3 in all those letters and you will find that this is caesar cipher traditional way of encryption uh, so cipher types again there are types of cipher actually uh, the one is the caesar cipher substitution cipher block cipher or product cipher so a transportational cipher letter are rearranged according to some predetermined rule or key cipher is nothing much but uh, sending party and receiving party they both are agree that we will be adding or removing uh, some of the words you know like they will say okay i will add plus 3 i will add plus 5 so you can use the same technology to decrypt it so why to do it because in between if somebody read the message he won't be able to understand the meaning because he do not know the decryption code those days these days it's easy to crack uh, so substitution cipher one pad cipher running key cipher block cipher and steam cipher let's talk about them in detail uh, number one is transposition cipher uh, letter are arranged according to some predetermined rule so there is a predetermined rule rearrange the letter of uh, pt into ct okay plain text pt stands for plain text and ct stand for cipher text here a rule okay so what is that rule actually example the fighter will strike the enemy bases at noon so key is equal to um, attacker okay so here if you look for this one here they look this picture here here attacker dawn okay attack at dawn here this is a message in the front one okay uh, but look, look if you look to the other side of the message here you will find uh, oh sorry you will find here transposition cipher 
columnar transposition plain text is message from Mary Stuart kill the queen ok, but here you will find there is a O in between ok, but it is easy to read message ok from F R O M from M A R Y Mary S T U A R T Stuart kill the queen ok. So, what is going to see uh, here? This is a normal plain text, but they are writing it in such a way. Let me help you in little detail here. Understand? They are writing it like this way here. M O A E E M R O and then S M T U and you know this one. So, the message is rearranged like that way you know first first word, second word, third, fourth, fifth and ninth and it will become in cipher text something different. But who need to decode? First of all he need to be make a arrangement like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then he, he can decode it with the same way back. So, that is called the transposition cipher that which positions you are using like here the positions from 1 to 9 here is easy ok. Next is uh, substitution cipher, we replace in substitution cipher we replace the character randomly as per algorithm. So, it is very easy A become R and B become G <laughs> ok. So, plain text is equal to row and key is column. So, this uh, decryption is P minus 3 ok. So, minus 3 from P is similarly like uh, the first we have learned A become R. So, here I am writing suppose C A T. So, it can be become C R T. So, easy and uh, A become R and B become G. So, suppose I am writing C A B. So, C remains C A become R and B become uh, G C R G. So, to decrypt it C A B. So, that is the another method substitution cipher. Next is uh, OTP one time pad or one time password we can call it uh, also known as Wernham cipher extremely powerful type of substitutional cipher. It is a different substitutional alphabet for each letter of uh, PT. It is a tough one little you know like uh, uh, encryption C is equal to P plus uh, K. <laughs> okay, so that is mode 26 you know C will be like P plus K into it you know like alphabets are written like A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and D is 4. So, they have a numbers uh, all the alphabets 1 to A B C to X Y Z. So, in the plain text S is 19th, E is 5, uh, C is on third number, R is on 18th number, E is on fifth number and T you guys can count on on which number plus, but key I am using here uh, A is 1, for A I am using 1, for C is 3, uh, G is uh, 7, uh, L is 12 and in cipher text it is going to become 19 plus 1 20 here. So, 20 mean uh, S is default 19 position, so it mean be S 19th ok plus T is on which position, so count it little complicated, but not necessary to go through it. Uh, running key cipher is there is no static uh, key, key will be auto always dynamic ok. So, that is another way of uh, uh, that here you can look for it like a PT Richard here Richard will. So, it can be they can use their own type of algorithm here whatever they want to use for it will not be a static every time it keep changing. Uh, whatever they want to use for ok. You, it is on you like ok you make i as a 8, you make t as a 2, you make h as a 7 it is your choice. You make m as a 100 or 9 sorry no 100 is alphabets only m as a 9, you make c as a 11 that is on you. So, that is called running key cipher. So, the way we are encrypting the same way it is going to be decrypt. Next is called block cipher. Block cipher is what? Block cipher are two crypto work horse n bits block of plain text e d 
n block of cipher text ok. So, uh, for example, 3 dash 64 bit AES uh, this is the what we do use actually these days uh, 128 bit canonical examples uh, 3 dash and AES uh, encryption. So, we will be talking more in the coming slides. Uh, stream cipher uh, uh, plain text plain text is here like uh, here Santa Claus Santa Claus and key is there like super call say this one ok. So, cipher text S S is it will be changing here like uh, it is coming in L A and U is V uh, V. So, what the question here is what kind of uh, encryption they have used here in this uh, scenario ok. So, example are OTP and Caesar cipher. So, that is uh, we have just learned on the back slide ok. Uh, now, guys here the stream cipher and the block cipher uh, stream cipher encrypt and decrypt one bit at a time, but block cipher encrypt block of data at a time ok. So, that is be little fast ok. These are actually uh, no longer uh, used actually and uh, this one we use like these ones we do use ok plain text and block. So, it is not possible for the today like um, bit by bit one by one uh, letter you are making coding something. So, block cipher is the uh, one ok. Next is asymmetric key we have already talked about it guys uh, ok like this is a plain text encrypted ok. You know public key what is public key this is, this is the bank web server you are accessing it from your home there is a internet. So, you are using public key for encryption you open the website whenever you open the website automatically the public key will be there and it is encrypted and secure to reach here and then it is going to be decrypted here this is the secret key they have. So, nothing much and data encryption guys the 3 dash ECB CBC count more dash uh, uh, dash 3 dash AES I believe these are the things you have to little go theoretically with all those uh, things uh, because uh, you have to spend quite number of good time with data encryption standard dash these are the good standard actually when you typically go for uh, setting up and configuring uh, devices uh, or security devices or setting up uh, encryption. So, or making up a VPN virtual private network connection there you have to work with those all uh, encryption level. So, I am I am just uh, putting the slide next uh, you, you guys can keep reading your own this one ok counter mode 2 dash is the one twice they do it 3 dash is the 3 time and AES is the uh, top one we do use is uh, advanced encryption standard and use 256 security dash we do not use triple dash we hardly use now. Uh, AES is the one we do use it and it does have a 256 bit of encryption. AES also is advanced encryption standard. So, uh, alternative to dash and idea operates on 64 bit blowfish. Uh, so, this is a, again I am leaving this slide for you guys to find it out on the internet. So, uh, skip jack block size equal to 64 bit RON 32 key size 80 bit designer and essay Duffy Hellman. Duffy Hellman is the one it is a very good one like uh, key exchange method Alice and Bob get public number P equal to 23 G equal to 9. So, Alice selected a private key A equal to 4 and Bob selected B equal to 3. So, Alice and Bob uh, compute public value X equal to 9 ok. So, here G 9 divided by 4 what is 4 a 9 divided by so g divided by a equal to uh, not divided as uh, 23 uh, and there they can get and they can use their method to calculate uh, so spend more time with that too uh, next is guys a key a s cross and recovery key s cross is an arrangement in which key needed to decrypt encrypt data are held in s cross so that under certain circumstances an authorized third party may gain access to those keys. These third party may include business uh, who may want access to employee private communication or 
uh, there. So, key escrow and row arrangement in which key needed to decrypt encrypted data are held in escrow. So, please wait for your key to register here. So, encryption and decryption is there basically for that. So, guys this is a bunch this is a very interesting uh, domain domain 2 actually, but uh, some of those are some mathematical terms and there are good actually, if you keep going through the slide or little bit browse the internet connection understand them and uh, these are the method usually a computer do his own you just need to implement. So, you just implementing AES, what, what exactly AES standard does you can uh, read it uh, on the internet or on the slide as well. Thank you very much guys, the next session I will be starting in depth and detail that is uh, security engineering, thank you.